Well, in this piece, I play Officer Rand, a publicity star of New Orleans cop. This guy, Victor, is in on the joke, and he set up his buddy, Dwayne. Now, Victor told Dwayne that he's won a contest where he gets the use of a brand new Hummer for a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> Wow, it is Vince is gigantuous. Is that a word? This could fit. A lot of hell could fit. <laughs> Dwayne's having a great time. But what he doesn't know is we've already told Victor to drive down this road where my police car is waiting. <laughs> now it's time to ruin Dwayne's party. <laughs> We got all kinds of crimes in Louisiana. We got drugs, we got crime, we got hidden camera shows. Robert, passenger, turn off the vehicle and step out. Now Dwayne sees that the officers who stopped him are being followed by a camera crew from one of those cop reality shows. You got any guns or weapons on you, sir? Just relax, we're gonna tell you what this is all about in just a second, okay, dude? If I open the trunk, am I going to find anything I don't want to see? Now, of course, there's nothing there. So if this bust is ever going to get on TV, I'm going to need something a little more exciting. Here's what's going on. You know, we're being followed by a yeah. cop show, OK? And we haven't had any, like, arrest all week. <laughs> but if you get on this show as a cop, OK, your department gets more money, you get more exposure, things go up, profile goes up, helps us with the community. What we would do is, we would just put something in your truck to make it look like you had something illegal. These guys would come over, we'd film it, and then after it was done, we, we would be free. We'd... So we're not going to jail or nothing? No, hell no, you're not going to jail. You can't do nothing. Yeah, you play along with us. It's like play acting. All right, maybe if you won't cry, cry. I'll get you 10 minutes and be on your way. All right, we'll be our guns and our go. All right, guys, just sit tight. We'll be ready in just a minute, OK? Yeah, yeah. Sir. Sir. Okay. Now we're going to give him enough firepower to put my face on TV. Go on. I'm going on. They want us to act. Act. Yeah. Tell them. Beat outrageous. They get something good. Ready, right, guys? And action. Step out the car. Step out the car now. Y'all step up against the car, please. Sir, Get up against the car, please, right now. Spread your legs, please. You have any sharp optical weapons on you? Step back for me. Take a step back. You have anything that might poke me? Anything that might lacerate my skin? Nothing in there. Okay. Now we bring in my superior officer. Of course, he's in on the whole gag. But we ain't gonna tell Dwayne that. Oh, s it's Lieutenant Diggs. It's Lieutenant oh, Diggs. What's he doing? All right, stay up against the car. All right. Stay cool with him. Uh, we got a possible 61A here. Y'all checked the vehicle yet? Uh, no, we have not checked the vehicle. Okay. I'm gonna check the vehicle out for you. Keep your hands on the car, man. What's this all about? Okay, be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. I don't know why he showed up. Okay, be cool. All right. My up. Officer Diggs has found the guns. Now he's gonna play like the whole thing's real. Let's see if Dwayne can talk his way out of this. 1015, 95 Take him back Yeah, we'll put him in the back of your car. I'm sorry, I gotta act tough. My lieutenant showed up. It's gonna be fun. Be cool, look at Get in there! Per you all right? No. Why is he talking about, I gotta look tough in front of my lieutenant? Like, dude, you just planting guns in my car, but they're not gonna listen to it. What about the call Okay, here. Yeah. You wanna interview with him? I'll yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. It's, uh, I'm gonna take care of him here. I'll take you. All right, here's what it is. The worst thing that happens, you spend a couple of weeks behind bars and you become somebody's for a while.
He said that. That's what he's talking about. All I can do is deny it, right? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Well, for come up. Angola is full of people, I think. <laughs> You want me to tell Lieutenant Davis what's really going on? Tell him. Yeah. While we was in the, while we was in the back of the car alone, he offered me sexual favors to let him know. Did you offer to polish my night stick? You did not. No, sir. Definitely didn't offer to polish polish your night stick. Is that what you said? <laughs> No, it's not funny. You never try to stick your hand down my crotch? Uh -huh. No, so we're going to start here. We're going to 511, 1846, 6 or 7 day, dash 93, and then we got a code 2 here, 9, with the lights and charges over there. What's the name? And a Velveeta charge. But what else we can do here? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what that is? Yeah, well, that's a charge right now. Is What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to X you. You know that you've been axed? Axed? I've been axed? Axed. You're on my hidden camera show. Go to Jamie Kennedy's Welcome, Dwayne and Officer Digger, yeah! All right, Dwayne, what was going through your head when I told the other officers that you offered me sexual favors to let you go? I was like, man, no way. Uh-uh, I can't believe you even said that. I couldn't believe you said it. I didn't know what to do. I was starting to freak out, man. Y'all had me going. I definitely, Y'all definitely had me going. All right, but can I tell you something? You're under arrest. Now get out of here. Get out of here! Keep our streets clean, New Orleans. We'll be right back, right after this. <laughs>